the hard drive way. The mulch pile. <laughs> hey, Valen. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe you get, got all of that. Is it coming out with the bulbs? Uh, most of them are, but sometimes they don't. Whoa, what happened to the fountain? The drop. What are those weird lumps on it? Those are rocks. Oh. I put them there to stabilize it. Oh. Wow. Oh, you took out the raspberries too. We were going to give those to a friend. Yeah. Are they, do they have roots? Yeah. Oh. Not very many, but they do. Awesome, looks good. My pants are falling off. <laughs> of course. Sprinkling every now and then. Has it really? Yeah, there was a huge rainstorm earlier. It's nice. It should be raining again soon. And maybe tomorrow. So this is the finished product of this area underneath this Luna Red Hibiscus, which is covered in buds everywhere. I feel it kind of sprinkling right now, actually. Very lightly. Anyway, what was that called? Centaria? Mm -hmm. The yellow bulbs? It has, what, yeah, like one inch? Are the flowers one inch round? They're bigger. Bigger than an inch. Yeah. So excited. Thistle-like flowers. Part of the thistle family? It looks like they are. Looks like they're part of the thistle family. Undetermined. And then there's bee balm. The grape bubble gum, I think it was called. That one's one of the broken pieces and that. They're still alive. They might take. And then this is the blue mum. I've taken many photos of it. It's really pretty. It's a hardy mum, which means it survives our winters and then comes back every year. Often you can find mums in the store and then you plant them in the fall. They're, they bloom in the fall. So they're kind of, I don't know, Halloween flowers, autumn flowers, whatever. And people plant them, but they don't come back. And it's, I've read somewhere that they can if you plant them in the spring. And then this is a salvia that I planted last year. Don't you think we should just cut this off? Yeah. We'll just cut that off. I'll do that now. Okay, so I always have these in my purse. I'm just going to cut off the long stems. because that's all next year's growth. There. And then he also planted this, what did we call this? Which one? Cloud. Storm cloud. Storm cloud. Do you remember the variety? I don't even think it's like, oh, it's definitely raining. Um, we're yeah, just gonna call it Storm Cloud. <laughs> And it's going to fill in this whole space. Really excited about that. And there's the candy tuft. And we're underneath the aronia, which has berries already. And we're really excited because this is like purpley pink. This is bluish. That's yellow. And then we have, I forget, the little button flowers. They looked really good with the mum. And then this is going to be blue, and then we have the liatris, which is like a purpley pink. And then the globe thistle. It's a girl. Whoa, shoot. And the butterfly bush. And they're all like pastel colors. And then of course the nodding allium. And then here is the Artemisia, which is like flat and funky. But I've been saving it to make a video about how to deadhead it. But these are flowers, and they're actually, they turn yellow. They haven't bloomed yet. So I don't really want to cut it off, but you can see there's a bunch of new growth here. And so all these stems can come off. They're kind of icky anyway. 
feel like we should. It's kind of ugly. Yeah. I will. And it takes up too much space. And then we have this Luna White hibiscus right here. This one's kind of petering out, but it's huge. We got this from Grandma Sandy. And there are a bunch of buds still to come. Here's a close-up of the nodding allium. So cute, but definitely takes over your garden. Here's another one. Got some more in bloom. There, it's going into seed right there. Those little green lumps, and boy, do they do a good job seeding. This one's even further along. Okay, I'm getting soaked. Here are a couple of the nodding allium with the bulbs still intact. Look at those roots. Ah! He's not afraid of the rain. <laughs> That's some serious commitment right there. Wait a minute, did you plant the bog rosemary? Yeah. So... I don't know if you saw previous videos, but I had bought this in the early spring, I believe. This bog rosemary with these cute little flowers that look like young blueberries. Andromeda. Talk about a cool name. Anyway, they've been sitting here and they're probably dead, but he just planted them. There's one there. One back there. Where's the third one? Uh, it's back there. Is it? Let's yeah. see. Oh, I see. One, two, three. They like to be wet, hence bog in the name. Oh, and then you planted this echinacea. Yep. This is a echinacea purpurea double decker. So it's this echinacea, which is the purpurea. You probably see it everywhere, but double. Here's a salvia again. We should trim that salvia too. How could I leave these out here? I'm trimming a little bit higher than usual just to see what happens. Usually I just go straight to the ground. But this time I'm leaving like an inch. That's the area I planned on mulching, but I never got to because we ran out of mulch. We had two yards before. Now we got another three yards. We got how much were that? Was it for delivery? It was thirty-five uh, it was bucks. Twenty bucks per square yard. Twenty bucks per square yard. cubic yard. Yeah. So that was a pretty good deal. I should probably mention that the mums, which are a type of aster that I was talking about earlier, the blue ones, this is part of them. Um, this is also part of them. They're not supposed to look like that, but clearly, probably a rabbit. We have tons of baby bunnies around. Got to them. Should I cut above? I'm just going to leave it. And then if you're interested what else is here this is a little hosta I don't remember what it's called but it was like tiny when I planted it right here and it's spread and it's about to flower and then this is a dianthus of some sort and I can't believe it's alive because it was not doing well it was like planted and grew fine, but then later it had like this long stem and I didn't know what to do with it and I thought it was gonna die, but it just didn't and it's pretty full, although it hasn't flowered this year.
That right there is a dwarf Alberta spruce. It's my favorite one from the four that we planted. Not necessarily my favorite tree uh, or conifer, but this one in particular is cool because it's very narrow compared to other ones of this variety. So I'm hoping it continues staying narrow. William under there. The dwarf Alberta spruce were some of the first things that I planted in the garden. When I first started recording videos for Valen to see. I think it was fall 2017 when I planted that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be. I love this globe thistle. It's so cool. I wish it didn't wither so quickly, but the color is really pretty. It's like a periwinkle or a lavender or something. And then although this is withered, I think it looks really pretty with that butterfly bush, which I think is called Pink Cascade. Yep, and then down there, what is this, a standing ovation hosta or something? Oh, one leaf broke. Either that or the... Praying hands. Praying hands. That broke. That's an iris. I did a video on how to deadhead iris. Oops. <laughs> and that is a sea thrift. Mixed with. No, actually, I think this might be just sea thrift. I'm not really sure what's what there. Yeah. Eronia is even showing first signs of autumn. Uh, I'm taking this out. I think a piece of the, um, Goodbye. that curly grass came out with it. And here's. You know what I mean? I don't see where the curly grass it's is. It's in your hand. There's a second piece in your hand. Anyway. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. I'm going to pull it up. Strawberry. No, this might be fruit. Uh, I guess we can... The strawberry has traveled from over behind the, what do you call it? The water fountain? No. Whatever you want to do. The bees like it. Butterfly bush is full of little flowers. These are still yet to bloom. There's one that's just all bud, buds. 
And then here's one that's spent. And so I will remove the spent ones so that it doesn't spread. Oh, these are those little yellow button flowers that I was saying were growing over there by the mums. to attack me, the thistles which are trying to scratch me, and the stupid thing that's trying to fall on me. It's not bothering me, as a matter of fact. But, uh, this area sucks. So I'm gonna leave these for now. This one's just starting to bloom. And there are, I mean, just buds everywhere. This one is still blooming. As you can see, it blooms from down here and then toward the tip, but I'll leave that one for now. And we have a nice brown bouquet of spent butterfly bush. Okay, so I guess I'm going to trim the artemisia. If you look at one of the stems, you can see that it's growing new growth already on the stem, so I could just cut right there. But what I don't like is woody stems. So I'm just going to cut lower. Uh, all the way down to the new growth. Basically just cutting all these stems down to the bottom. These stems are just looking dead anyway. There, I'd say it doesn't look great, but it has been raining a lot, so it's just like smashed from the rain and maybe the mulching. That'll be fine for now. We'll see if it'll fluff up. And I guess today we end up with a nice muddy bouquet of wet softness. <laughs> Perfect. 